to Chicago for our next story. A gorgeous live now look there over the Windy City skyline. It has to do, though, with crime on this Labor Day. Four people were fatally shot on the CTA Blue Line train this morning. For more on what happened, we're going out to our friend there at Fox 32 in Chicago, reporter Nate Rogers with the details. He joins me. Uh, Nate, thanks for being with us, especially on this Labor Day. What exactly all went down there this morning? Yeah, Andrew, well, good evening to, to you and to your viewers at home. I tell you, truly a tragic day here in Chicago. Authorities calling this incident heinous. We have learned over the last couple of hours from multiple sources that detectives are working to determine if this was a random act by a gunman who apparently shot and killed four people while they were on a CTA Blue Line train here overnight. Those four people, we're told, were sleeping tonight. The suspected gunman is in custody. It's a horrible tragedy that four people are dead on Labor Day Lincoln. Multiple ambulances on scene along with law enforcement from various agencies. It happened around 5.30 a.m. Four people shot, apparently sleeping on a Blue Line train as it was pulling into the Des Plaines Forest Park Transit Center. This, you know, obviously is shocking. You know, it is uncommon, you know, to have a mass shooting like this, especially this close to home. Police say the victims were all passengers seated in two different train carts. Three people were immediately pronounced dead. The fourth person died at a local hospital. The gunman's motive, unknown. Currently, that suspect is being held in the Forest Park Police Department. And we believe it was only one suspect, or one offender. Authorities say CTA's enhanced technology tracked the suspect after he fled from the blue line to a pink line train. Forest Park Police, CPD, the CTA, and West Suburban Major Crimes Task Force all collaborating, arresting the suspect in an hour. I have to be at work at 7, so I would have been right on this train. The station remained closed much of the day. Police calling it an isolated incident with no threat to the public. Tanasha Baker calls the situation tragic. She rides the blue line daily. The people that just stand out here outside, they just looking for a place to sleep, ain't nowhere else. And Andrew, at this hour, we're still waiting to learn the names and ages of the victims. So far, the medical examiner's office here has told us that the victims appear to be three black men, as well as one woman who is white. We also learned from authorities that a gun was recovered at the scene. The Forest Park Police continue to investigate this situation. Charges, we're told, are pending. That is the latest here in Forest Park. Nate Rogers, Fox, Chicago. Nate, I just got a couple of questions. You know, for our viewers who aren't familiar with the Chicago area, let's talk about the Blue Line. Let's talk about it being there in Forest Park. How far is this, say, from downtown Chicago? And normally, how busy is it? Yesterday was a holiday, so is that somewhat of a silver lining here? Maybe not as many people would be on it? Well, yeah, the um, Blue Line train, this this stop is the end of the line um, for the Blue Line here in Chicago. I'd say it's about a 20, 25-minute ride from downtown Chicago. A lot of folks still travel on the Blue Line. I don't think the um, I don't think a lot of folks were on the train today because it is a Labor Day. Um, but I will tell you that the Blue Line here in Chicago is one of the train lines that tends to see a lot of crime. In fact, the mayor of Forest Park, as well as the police chief, says that they've received received an enormous amount of calls at this particular stop um, because there's a lot of crime activity in, ter in terms of over overdoses and other criminal activity that they described to reporters earlier today. But um, the other thing that's you know, a lot of folks need to know there are a lot of homeless people who, that tend to sleep on the trains late at night and overnight. The Blue Line is one of the trains here that tends to run 24-7, as are many bus lines. And so when we were speaking with a lot of folks today, they, they shared with us that they tend to see homeless folk on the train because many of them feel as if they don't have a place to go. So certainly just a very tragic situation here. That's why even at this hour, normally the um, medical examiner's office, they by now would have given us names and um, even like addresses or even ages. But as of right now, we're, we're still working to figure out who those relatives even are. All right. Uh, Nate Rogers, as always, thanks so much. We'll talk soon. Yes, sir.